Hey everyone, welcome back to Snapbolt. Got another popper league for you, and today we're going to be playing some Stompy. This is mono green aggro. Um, nothing too crazy about this list, just a pretty stock list. I think this is one of the best decks in popper right now. Just going to do a real quick, real quick deck tech of the deck, just because it's pretty standard. You can look up any Stompy or mono green aggro, and this will come up. Um, but basically, we're just beating down. We're just playing guys beating down. Nettle Sentinel, one mana, two two. Um, Rancor is a huge part of this deck. This is definitely the best Rancor deck. Um, then we have some other synergies like Nest Invader. You can make a spawn and sack it and play Hunger of the Howl Pack. Put three counters on something. But I think the biggest upgrade this deck got was Savage Swipe, just giving the deck another pump spell and removal all in one. So this card was like absolutely huge for the deck. Um, and I, like I said, I think this is the best deck now. Um, let's see how I can do with it. Um, and in the sideboard, just nothing too crazy. Pe people who generally play four gut shot and then some copies of Gleeful and Weather the Storm. I like all these cards, so I'm just maxing out on them. When they're good, they're really good, and otherwise we're just beating down some young wolves against Mono Black. And uh, that's the deck. I'll see you in round one. All right, welcome to round one. We're against Vingadon MTG, and we're going to keep this hand. And you might say, well, why, why are we keeping? We only have one land, but Korean Ranger can add additional mana. And I thought we were going to be against the mirror, but it looks like we're against some shenanigans. The button and growth. We'll see. It could just be boggles. <clears throat> we'll just probably lead on. Hmm. -mm. I was going to say we probably just lead on Korean, but we might just lead Vault Scourge. Especially now that we drew a second land. Yeah, I'm going to lead Vault Scourge. Just an evasive threat. Gets our Skargan set up. We can just Rancor up the Vault Scourge next turn. Since we drew land next turn, we can just go rank, Rancor plus Vault Scourge. And get a lot of pressure going. Let's see if he has it. He's got nothing. Um, I mean, I'm going for this here. Yeah, he's just F6. Might even just Elephant Guide next turn, too. Easy game. Let's see. What does our opponent have? Does he have a creature? He does. Ethereal armor. Make it massive. I'll probably still just Elephant Guide up the Vault Scourge. I don't think he really has removal. So we're just going to make a huge flying lifelinker. Now I could, if I Elephant Guide this, the Pit Skulk, then I get in for two more damage because then I hit for five for eight. But if I just Elephant Guide this, then uh, I don't think he can really block it. And it's going to be kind of hard to race it as well. So I'm just gonna go with that. And then if he wants to attack, we can block, we can just race. I like our position. If he has uh, the plus two plus two lifelink enchantment, that could be rough for us because then he can actually outrace us. But I like our position right now. His guys have hexproof, but we just basically have a Baneslayer Angel on turn three. 6-4 Flying Lifelink Trample. Okay. Looks like he probably doesn't have anything. Let's see. 4 mana. What is this? I guess it could be the uh, plus 2 plus 2 for each enchantment you control. Uh, it does have the Armadillo Cloak. And another Ethereal Armor. Okay, I don't think we can beat that. First Strike Trample Lifelink 15-15. So, I thought he had nothing and he had it all. I guess we can try, but what can we really do? Because now we're just going up to 17. If he has absolutely nothing, I guess we're not dead, but... Yeah, it's just... It's just really not looking good here. Make an O1. Let's just do what we can. 
We get to bring in four Gleeful Sabotage in this matchup, though. So as long as we draw one or two of those. Like, if we had drawn one this game, we'd probably be fine. We can just kill this. Oh, 28, 28. Trample Life Link. Yeah, triple Ethereal Armor. Yeah, he got us. All right, let's go to sideboarding. Let's just bring in quad gleeful sabotage. I think that's all we want. And what do we not want? I mean, could just take out these savage choice because if he only has hex proof creatures, you can't cast this because you have to have a target. Um, you, one, you have to have one be able to target one of their creatures to be able to cast it. And I know he can make the 1-1, one, one, but it's just too risky, I think, to have Savage Swipe in hand and not be able to cast it. We just need to really execute our game plan, and this is really where we want to be in the matchup. So I'll see you for game two. All right, welcome back. Game two, we got wrecked by a 28-28 or whatever that was. And again, this hand's not bad, but is, it, is the same thing going to happen to us? Hmm. We don't have a Gleeful Sabotage, but we can draw into one, and other than that, our hand is good. It's not insane, though. I wonder if we want to just try to find Gleeful Sabotage, because it really helps us so much. We get a 3-1 Flying Lifelinker on turn 2 on the play. It's hard to mull that. I'm just going to keep. hope we draw into Gleeful Sabotage. I don't think we want to just mull straight up for it. And if he doesn't have the fastest draw, we can still just get him with this with this draw. If we find Gleeful Sabotage, we're like really in a good spot. Okay, he has a turn 1 Vogel. Drawing land, not ideal. We'll just kind of do the same thing as last game. Put a bunch of power out there. We'll see if his draw is really good. Looks like it's not yet. Okay, I mean, we have like literally the same draw. Um, I could play out both these creatures. But I think I'd rather just Elephant Guide now and just get the beats on. Oh, but then my Nettle doesn't untap. Does that matter? I don't think so. I'm just going to Elephant Guide now. And just, just get in. I might have messed that up, but just redo that next time. Hit for 8. And then... We can't kill him next turn unless we draw, like, what? Like a Hunger of the Howl Pack? Killing Ethereal Armor here? I mean, I feel like it's still going to be hard for him to get out of this one. He needs another uh, Lifelink Enchantment, I think. He could attack, but then Rancor, he dies to Hunger, Elephant Guide. He dies to a lot of stuff if he attacks. Yeah, he doesn't, which makes sense. So we'll just hit for six, and then play out our guys. Not going to bluff anything, no, no reason to. Play a ledge walker too, and F6. Even if he has like land, lifelink enchantment here, I don't think that's enough. Because if he attacks, then we can just take it and attack back. Okay. First strike, flying vigilance, but then he, he's just then he's just dead. Favor. I haven't seen very many people playing this. I mean, it's not bad, it's especially good with Boggle, but it's not as good with the other creature, which is interesting. So I just attack with all. 
That should do it. Yep, kill our guy. And then takes five. All right, now we just need to uh, find a gleeful sabotage here for game three. Still think we don't want Savage Swipe. I don't think we want anything different. Let's run it back. All right. Let's see, we're on the draw. We do have a hunger. And we have Corian into double burning tree on turn two. Hmm. It does put a lot of power out there. Man. But we don't have like, and he snap kept seven. I think this hand is not as good because we don't have like the flying vault scourge effect. It's like, yeah, we get to turn two, most likely make six power, but I don't think that's really gonna do it. And this hand isn't like that insane where I wanna keep it. I'm in a mulligan. Uh, I don't think this is winning on six. Like we're just playing some dudes out. I'd rather just, again, try to find Gleeful. Okay, well, I have to keep this, unfortunately. I'm just gonna put back land vines. This is a rough keep. We're just mono green boggles here. Not looking good. Where's the gleeful sabotage at? We're gonna have to just go in on this ledge walker. I mean, maybe not. We can even just play Rancor first here. He didn't have a second land. I mean, I didn't mean Rancor, I meant Ness Invader. Hmm, I don't really want to race either, so yeah, I'm just going to play Ness Invader. Our opponent's keeping some interesting hands. Okay, no land. Okay, found col Colony Garden. Okay. Binds, that's interesting. I'm wondering if I just even just attack with Nest Invader. I think I do. Uh, yeah, I think I do because I can block this with Corian Ranger. Just blocking with Plant now. I don't know if that's that great, but. And I can just untap this. So yeah, that's definitely the right was I think that, that was definitely the right attack. Um I don't think I need to leave up vines by sacking spawn. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna play Ledge Walker and pass. Plan on double rancoring that up next turn. Is he just playing Ledge Walker? Oh he's got favor. 5-3, Vigilance, Trample. Flying. Okay. So now, hmm, this Burning Tree is actually kind of awkward because we need all the green mana we can get. So I need to leave up Vines for sure in case he blocks. Um, so I think I just go play one Rancor here Untap this, land, attack. Well, I just want to leave up Vines kicked, so he's just not going to block. Hmm. Put him to 14. Now I'll just go Burning Tree plus Rancor, I guess. Pass. It telegraphed exactly what we have, but okay, he's got a chump blocker. Another chump blocker. It's going to be tough to race. 
But again, where's our uh, cyber card at? Hmm. Okay. Do I attack with all except for spawn? Obviously. Yes, because I can untap with Quarian if I need to. Attack in. Block, block. Five, six, seven. Is there any point to save Corian? I don't think so. so. I'm just gonna go vines, cast with kicker. Target here. And then go, which creature am I gonna wanna potentially block with? I guess I untap Nest Invader because I don't want to block with Ledge Walker. Well, I can't really block this anyway. I'll just untap Nest Invader. Let damage happen. Play a land. Pass. So unless he has like Ethereal Armor here, we win. Ah, oh, that's game. Well, close match. We just didn't draw the uh, sideboard hate that we needed. GG's and uh, see you in round two. Let's see if we can get round two. That was close. All right, welcome back. Round two against Sacred Devil. We're on the play, which is huge. Zero end. Mulligan that. Hmm. And this is not a good one lander either. Gotta throw this back, gotta go to five. He kept seven. Man, this is not good either. Oh, Jesus. Like, what are we doing? We're making like a big Corian Ranger? I think, I think we have to keep. Put back vines. It's either Savage Swipe or Hunger. I just don't see the Savage Swipe being good. Sketchy here. I guess we could have kept vines over this Hunger to protect our guy from a removal spell. Let's see what we're up against. Forest, interesting. Forest pass, okay. Just gonna go in, hit for five. Let's see what we can draw. Burning tree, are we in the mirror? Looks like it. It's gonna be hard to beat the mirror on five, especially with a not very good hand. Okay, there, there's Nest Invader. So, this is looking good actually. That was probably our best draw. Have to do this and then hit. If he blocks with one thing, we can just get him with hunger here. And. If he double blocks, we can just let it happen. And I don't think he's gonna double block, so. We can just probably hung this up regardless, make a huge thing. Yeah, so he does that. We go sack and hunger here. Now we have an 8-4 trample, Corian Ranger, and he's at nine. So maybe we can get there on this sketchy hand.
this mirror match is pretty funny. I guess a Savage Swipe kills our Ranger, but then we still have double Rancor. Savage Swipe is just, yeah, so good in this matchup. Does he have it? He has a Rancor on the Nettle Sentinel, so he's planning on just blocking with that on our Quarian. Okay. Burning Tree Emissary. Hmm. <laughs> So I can't attack with both because he just gets a free block on the Ness Invader with the River Boa. If I attack with Quirion, he takes six down to three, and then we get our Rancors back, and I go Burning Tree Rancor. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I have to do. He's definitely just going to block with Nettle here. I guess he could also block with the river boa. He chooses not to. Well, if we had like a vines there, we just like, we win the game. We get all our rancors back. He gets his first. And then we get ours. And then we go burning tree, play rancor. Pass the turn. And we have another Rancor back, which might be kind of hard for him to deal with considering he's at three. Oh, Hunger now? Okay, I mean, that's really good. But he still isn't in the best spot. I don't think there's much I could do to play around that Hunger. I mean, I think our hand wasn't very good, so I think we're doing really well considering our draw. Our draws have been good, but our opening hand was just pretty sketchy, pretty vulnerable, even though we attacked for five on turn two. Vault Scourge down to one? Rancor up Vault Scourge. Man. Burning tree, interesting. So let me think about this. If I go burning tree into rancor, and he goes block, block, he takes one or no, then he takes three, gains three, stays at one. If I go Burning Tree into Rancor on this, attack with both. He goes block, 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 gains three, and takes only one. Hmm. Do you want to kill the Vault Scourge? Then I lose both of my creatures. I still think it's worth. I'm just gonna take this line, Burning Tree, and then Rancor Next Invader, attack with both. Cause then most likely he has to trade off the Vault Scourge, stays at one, and then we still have double Rancor in hand and a Burning Tree on the battlefield. Yeah, and then he has to regenerate, which is fine. And then he takes three, gains three, stays at one. But his Vault Scourge dies, so he can't continue to gain life. Then all these triggers happen. Then he's at one and facing down a six power Trampler Burning Tree that he has to do something about. Burning Tree into another creature. Savage Swipe would be like an insane draw. Elephant Guide. Okay, so he has an 8-7 now. Can't attack yet. 
Mm, forest was probably the worst possible draw. Needed, I wanted to draw a creature there. We are still at 20 though. And we can't attack yet. If we draw our elephant guide, that would be pretty insane. Yeah, again, considering we mulligan into five, we're doing okay. The vines would be insane. Another elephant guide? Ah. All right, let's play out our cards. Can't attack. I feel like we have some lethal draws. Another Rancor might even do it too. Put it on Burning Tree and then he has to put eight power, eight, eight toughness in front of this and then the Nettle can get through. So right now that does it. I don't know what he has in hand. A Savage Swipe? Oh, oh, the, oh, the Rancor, yeah, we knew about that. Okay, wow, he's hitting? So he has another creature. Um, I think we just take, because I think that increases our outs. 7-5 Trample, why is he attacking? He must have another blocker. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take. I'd rather have two attackers. Okay. Hunger? Does that do it? <laughs> Don't think that does it. Oh man, that's so close, because if I attack with both, he's going to go block this river boa on the burning tree and block this river boa on nettle. And then if I went like hunger here, he'd regenerate this one. And then I just, this just dies, and this dies. If I just attack with this, he still just blocks here. Hmm. If I just attack with Nettle, he just gets a free, just kill Nettle, and then I have to hunger this. And I'm facing down a lot of power next turn. A lot of power trample right now too much to stop. But I don't think there's anything I can do. Because if I just attack with metal and then make this and make this a 9-5, that's not even good. All right, well, Let's go for this. I think if I just attack with Nettle, I think I'm just dead. So now, if I hunger Burning Tree, he has to regenerate here. And then you just take zero and this dies. And then I just die. All right, I'm, I'm just dead. Yeah, it was just a rough mulligan there. Hmm. Could bring in like a gleeful sabotage. I think I just want the gut shots. Don't think I want weather the storm. I don't even know if I want all the gut shots. I guess it can kill River Boa, Vault Scourge, Korean Ranger. There's a lot of stuff that it doesn't kill. Hmm. Look 
could just take out like Corian. And then some, some amount of vines. I think the other ones are better generally than vines. Elephant Guide seems good as well. Riverboa, uh, Ledgewalker all seem good. Could set out like two vines and just like one Ness Invader. I'm just going to go with that. Ness Invader is not that powerful. We'll try it like this. All right, I'm gonna keep this hand. We have a turn one nettle into turn two burning tree into savage swipe if we want. So, pretty potent start. Nettle, okay, so yeah, we're just gonna take this line. Vines, okay, that's actually not bad. Um. So yeah, I think I like just Burning Tree, Savage Swipe, Kill Your Guy, Attack for four. Let's just do that. Having a Vault Scourge here would be nice. I've thought about going up to three Vault Scourges. Could also play some amount of Ginger Brutes. Burning tree into what? Nest invader, okay. Sacking nest invader now. Vault scourge, interesting. Burning tree. So I could just go Burning Tree Ledge Walker attack for four. Doesn't seem that good. I mean, this Vault Scourge is probably gonna get us. If I just attack with Burning Tree. If he blocks, like am I gonna vines? Probably not. Alright, so let's do this line. Burning Tree, Wedge Walker, hit. Hope you can't make like a massive Vault Surge. See if he wants to trade. Drawing the Burning Tree right there was kind of rough. No Rancor one time. Let's see what he's got. Tax with both. Yeah, I'm just going to take. I just don't want to get vines. Scargan. Okay. Nettle. Rancor. Okay, well that's really good. Rancor up this. Hit with all. And then play a Scargan. And already he's taking five. Goes down to eight. And we have this Vines. Try to go for the win. If you can't pump the Vault Surge, we're looking reasonable.
Ooh, Savage Swipe there was good. Not another one, please. Does have a double Savage Swipe. Okay, it's brutal. And of course, now we can only hit for seven. Oh, but he goes to nine. Oh, God damn. Well, I think we're still potentially okay. Because I'm just going to hit. I'm going to vines with kicker. Put him to two. Then if he does something... Do I need to... Should I just gut shot the vault scourge now? I don't think so. I'm just going to pass. Because right now he can just attack. Vines kicked. <laughs> Get wrecked. He could have killed us. <laughs> if he just vines either uh, any other creature, then uh, we lose. But now he loses. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Rough beats. He just vines the only thing that... Only, that's the only way we lose, because if we got shot on our turn, then we're like, no cards tapped out, he just goes, vines, kill you. But because we waited, and he's like, oh, I want to get the lifelink safer that way, then we just vine, then we just gut shot kill him. That was dope. <laughs> wonder if I want to take out, like, a gut shot or two here. He, he still is going to have Vault Scourge. Maybe some Quarian Rangers sh should come out on my side too. Hmm. It also kills River Boa. Four Gut Shot is a lot though. I don't know what the standard sideboard procedure is for the mirror. And I feel like Gut Shot could still just do work like there's a fair amount of targets for it maybe you just don't want it it's just so crucial to kill vault scourge or like if he traps out for river well i'm just gonna keep him in i'm just gonna go with this like especially vault scourge is just so important to be able to kill All right, yeah, keep this hand. He mulligans to six, okay, we're on our way. The savage swipe is just so brutal. The good thing is if we go nettle and he goes savage swipe your nettle, we can go play a second nettle and then savage swipe your nettle. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Corian. Okay. So we can gut shot the Corian like whenever we want. Okay, he's got three cards in hand only. If we're able to go Savage Swipe into Hunger, it's just insane. Um, don't definitely don't want to block. Another savage swipe. Wow. Then it fights. So even if he vines is this, we're fine. All right, I'm gonna go land, and I'm just gonna go Savage Swipe here. I'm gonna start with that. See if he has the vines, and then we could also just go Gut Shot this, and then Hunger our guy. So he does have vines. All right, that's fine. Target creature, it's not all creatures yet. It's not Veil of Summer. <laughs> 
Okay, so it's not kicked. So I think our Savage Rape should still give our Nettle Sentinel plus two plus two. But just to be safe, uh, I'm just gonna gut shot this. And then I'm gonna hunger my Nettle. Cause I'm gonna, I think, I think I'm gonna do this anyway. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this anyway because I want a creature to die for the hunger. I want the morbid. I guess that was technically wrong. Wait. Oh, he vines our guy. Interesting. Okay. That was re that was really interesting. I just because of magic online, I didn't even realize that. I thought he was vinesing his guy, but that makes sense because then it just counters our savage swipe. That was that was interesting. We're still looking like we're in a really good spot here, though. And he's got two mana up. So we could have vines kicked. So... Vines kicked would be brutal. I think I just need to play all my spells pre-combat. Because I can't let him vines kicked on this nettle blocking this nettle. Let's see if I go savage swipe here. And he goes vines kicked nettle. I just get like blown out. Totally blown out. But if I go attack... And he goes vines kicked nettle block like it's still really bad for me I'm just not sure if there's any way for me to really play around that I guess there is I'm just gonna go burning tree add mana Savage swipe here. Okay, he's just passing. Okay. I think he's just F6. I was just so scared there of a vines. So I took this, this kind of weird line to try to play around it a little bit. Because that way if he has vines, I just lose my burning tree, but I don't lose my 5-5. Five five. So. I, li I like the line we took. Elephant Guide, the Corian Ranger. Okay. We we just drew our Corian Ranger. Okay. So if I tack him down to seven, he's gonna have to chump next turn. Just gonna attack for five. Yeah, you can't really block. Corian, and sure. Not sure if it's relevant to use it. Considering he knows we don't have any cards in hand. Yeah, I'm typically not playing like these aggro style decks. Like, I own a all oh, epic confrontation. This is a card that some people main deck one copy of, and I just I'm not main decking any or sideboarding any, and that this is what it's for. It was really good there. It's just like the fifth fight spell. Two mana, um, but yeah, I'm I'm not used to playing this type of deck. 
I'm much more accustomed to playing ramp or control. I don't like, I own a bunch of modern decks. I don't own burn. I don't own these weird like aggro decks. I just own like Tron, in fact, blue white control, Stoneforge decks, other noble decks, all that, all that type of stuff. But I don't typically play like these aggressive like aggro strategies. Hmm. Not sure what he's in the tank on. He has a 5-6 with 5 damage on it. I don't think he can really attack. We're kind of in a rough spot here, though. Vault Scourge down to three. Gut shot. Land. Brutal. He's got one card in hand. But now... If I attack with all, he gets to eat a 2-2. Two -two. And then... Trade with a Quarian Ranger and go to two. Because he has to block with Vault Scourge now. Because if he just blocks with this, he dies. So I'm going to get just get this Vault Scourge off the table. We lose a guy, but we also trade with his Vault Scourge and put him to two. Just pass. I guess he can attack for four and then untap Korean Ranger. Just pretty brutal. Burning tree. Into nothing. Attack. I'm assuming untap ranger here. Draws are just not quite getting there. And a Skargan. Okay, that could do it. We just need to draw a pump spell. We're at 10. We have to draw any pump spell. Even gut shot, hunger, savage swipe. No, savage swipe doesn't do it. Vines, Rancor, any of those cards. It's another elephant guy. Looks like it. Elven Guide is pretty good in this matchup. Yep. But now if he attacks with all, doesn't really matter. We can still just trade with Burning Tree. We still just need to top deck a pump spell or a way to do one more damage. And now if he attacks with all, Gut Shot's not an out. Or, yeah, it is, because I can just block Quarry and Ranger. Okay, it's just attacking for five. We can't block it. It all comes down to just like, can we pump this? Because this can only be blocked by creatures with flying. So, let's see. Oh, he's attacking with Burning Tree. Um, his zero cards in hand. we take seven down to three, does that matter? I don't think so. I think we just, our only out is to win next turn anyway. It doesn't affect us. I'm just going to take seven. Just comes down to our draw step. Really close match. Ah, oh, god damn. <laughs> 
So brutal. We're just dead. Opponent drew two lands, we drew five. Hmm. Yep. GG's. 0-2 to start off this league. Not a good start. I'll see you in round three. Hopefully we can turn it around in 3-2 this league. Welcome back. Round three. We're 0-2 with Stompy. And uh, we're against Tart. I, I, uh, I don't think this is a keep. Like, turn one, do nothing. Turn two... Burning Tree into River Boa just like doesn't seem that great. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna try to do better. Alright, this looks better. But now what are we putting back? We're going turn one nettle. Hmm. This is a tough one on what to put back. <clears throat> I could just put back Burning Tree. Not sure how much this hunger can do though. Hmm. Let's see, so what's our line? If we go Nettle. I'm just going to try to save this hunger and put, put this burning tree back. It's tough to say because I just don't know what our opponent's on. So to just say like, okay, this is exactly what we're going to do just seems tough. All right, backwater. Land is not a good draw at all. We'll just go nettle, pass. Now we just want our opponent just to not really do much. Augur. Okay, that's fine. We can go Rancor, the Nettle, attack, and then play Skargan. I mean, he's probably even... I don't know, he's not going to walk after we Rancor, but... Agony Warp. Jeez. Gonna be tough. Ooh, Savage Swipe. That's interesting. Hmm. The Agony Warp is good. Oh, but maybe not. Because we have this line. We have now we have Savage Swipe into Hunger. It's not good against Edict, but I'm I'm going for it. I think this is this is our chance. This is like an insane line. Because now, now we make a 4-4. Four, four. We go out of Agony Warp range. If he has another removal spell for Nettle, it's obviously not great, but... Preordain, yeah. So now that he can't Agony Warp the Nettle, that's huge. Now we can just Rancor it up. Swamp, no edict. Gonna go land, play nettle to try to, cause I, I wanna play nettle first because um, if I go rancor this and he goes edict in response, I would just remove soul, counter it. Okay. Um, I was gonna say, cause then if, he, if I just go rancor this to start the turn, um, and he goes Edict in response, I lose my Rancor and I lose my creature. But if I play Nettle and Edict in response, I still have my Rancor. So that's why I took that line. But now we get to hit for 7. Put him basically to lethal. And play a Skargan to play around Edict. So looking good here.
Drawing the Savage Swipe was insane. I think he just might be like blue-black kind of mid-range, maybe Gurmag de deck. He could be blue-black Delver with Gurmag also, and just not have drawn Delver. Wow. I just don't understand how he had Disfigure plus Edict there unless he just drew Trainer's Edict. Man. Brutal. We know one of his cards is Agony Warp. Not the ideal draw there, an Elephant Guide. Opponent has Fifth Land into Mole Drifter. Yep. Okay. Nest Invader. Do I rank up the spawn? So I have Rancor with the Nest Invader, then that just dies. I still just put it on here, I think. I can't just play this Elephant Guide into an Agony Warp, unfortunately. Our opponent had that window just to tap out for Mole Drifter, and we weren't able to punish him at all. And he's getting real close to flashing back that edict. Disfigure it. Still has Agony Warp. Gurmag. Yeah, and still with Agony Warp up. I can't play anything into it. Guess I go Skargan. And I go with Rancor on the spawn now. He might just let that resolve. I guess I just go with Rancor on this now and let him Agony Warp it. I can't just play around it. Like, he's just going to have this up for the rest of the game. This way, I might at least be able to resolve my Elephant Guide. But I don't think I'm winning at this point. Just having the disfigure into the edict was insane. I guess we'll bring in Young Wolves and a Relic. Mole Drifter. Interesting list our opponent's playing, just blue black control. Hitting for seven too. All right. Let's go, Corian. And elephant guide up this. Attack for three. Put him down to five. But our opponent also has nine power here. So another Agony Warp would kill us. All right, pro. Yeah, this is what you get when you're in the O2 bracket. I mean, this is like, this card's fine. This is like an old blue-black control is basically. It's, this deck is fine, but I don't think it's that good. I feel like our draws have been subpar and we've had some close matches that we lost. But this game's now not looking very good. All right, he hits for four in the air, hits us down to seven. 
and maybe we can draw vines and somehow get there. We don't, we draw land. Um, okay, just gonna pass. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana too. You can just flash back Edict if he needs. I don't think we have any outs. Let's see what he does. This is looking pretty bad. Okay, interesting. Doesn't want to attack with Angler. Okay, I'm just gonna take it. Cause I can't block. Augur, sure. And he has another Chainer's Edict. Echoing Decay, main, okay. Yeah, we're, we're dead. Even if we just attack with both and he doesn't block, we, we still just die. All right, Relic coming in, Young Wolf's coming in, and that's it. Riverbows we definitely want. Hmm. The elephant guides seem kind of awkward here. It's just gonna be tough to get them down. And uh Wedgewalker seems good. Ness Invader seems good. Maybe Savage Swipe isn't that good. He does have creatures. He has like auger and stuff we want to kill. Maybe just take out one savage swipe. It can be awkward against removal as well. All right, let's go with this. All right, we'll be on the play. Keep this hand. Turn one vault scourge, probably T2 burning tree into river boa. Vault Scourge go. Opponent probably just got a tap land here. Yep. Could get the Rancor down now. But I think I'd rather get a bunch of creatures into play. Let's see what he does. He might just be like freaked out about this river bowl and try to kill it now. Okay, just has another tap land. Could also have a disfigure. If he just leaves up mana, I'm just gonna attack with everything and play River Bowl and not play Rancor into Disfigure and just get wrecked. Okay, he's disfiguring now, sure. So now I can get this Rancor down. I don't really need to, ooh, vines. That's huge. Um, I think I'm not gonna leave up vines. I need to. I need to go kind of hard here. I'm just gonna do this and attack. And if he has like a targeted removal spell that kills Riverboa, that's not disfigure, like a victim or something, and he kills this then so be it, but I I need to need to go aggro. Okay, there's Augur. And he played an island, so this is unblockable now. He put Forbidden Alchemy into his hand. Now we're in an okay spot. Hmm. I'm gonna play this. I don't know I don't think he has chitter or anything, but still. Just figure that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna save it. 
get in for a bunch of damage. Counter a spell. The problem is we have no cards left. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, well, we might win this game. This is just really not the type of jack deck I enjoy playing. I just, like, enjoy drawing a bunch of cards and being kind of, like, in his position where you're, like, the one, like, answering, finding stuff. Rather than just, like, trying to get there with damage. Let me know what you guys and girls think. Like... Am I playing decent or am I not playing that well? Or have these games just been close and we lost? Forbidden Alchemy main phase. He doesn't have another land maybe? But he's at five. So if we don't draw anything, he goes block, essentially chump, takes four down to one and then untaps and stabilizes somehow, I guess. I guess that's his line. River Boa, pretty sweet magic card. I like the art too. He just concedes what we're going to draw. Nest Invader. Okay. Let's see if we can get there against Blue at Control. So we have three Savage Swipes, sided out the Elephant Guides. Elephant Guide is good if we can, if we can resolve it. It just seems kind of tough. Like even resolving Rancor can be kind of tough. I guess hunger is also kind of sketchy, but because he can just kill all of our guy, all of our guys. But I'm still gonna keep it in. Hunger is just super powerful. Let's just run it back. All right. Let's see if we can get a win here. While this hand is not exciting, I am gonna keep. I'm going to try to keep. Let's see what my opponent has. Just going to lead on Nettle into Ledge Walker and then hopefully make a big Ledge Walker. Duress. Okay. See this very unexciting hand. I like the art on the on his duress though. That's the art I like to play. Burning tree. Okay, that's a fine draw. Another um, point I want to make is, it's like, I feel like I've been playing well. I mean, maybe I've made some mistakes. Let me know if I have, but. We had two close matches, we lost both, and now we're in like a little bit of a precarious position against Blue White Control, might 0-3, but it's like, you can't get frustrated as a Magic player and just like get tilted and lose, you, you, you gotta stay positive, it's huge. Um, it's like a really crucial to the game here. Um, it just like, if you get tilted, it's just gonna ruin your, your play, it's just not good for you. This is a really interesting spot because we can do the same line of, wait, oh, he missed on the auger. Wow, that's huge. I feel like if he had Edict, he might have just cast it. But if I go Savage Swipe into Hunger, ah, he's just tapped out. Now is such a good time to do it too. If he doesn't have exactly Edict, it's good for us. And if he has Edict, it's terrible for us. What are the chances that he has Changer's Edict? I feel like fairly high. I feel like he would have cast it, but maybe not because maybe playing Augur is better. Like we can't attack with Nettle. He can just Changer's Edict later. If I just Burning Tree, what if I just like, what if I, I can also Burning Tree into Savage Swipe and then attack for four and just not get to Hunger this turn. But then that's not even that exciting. 
All right, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for the a little bit more of an all-in line because we know this works. And then I get to go attack, hunger this, hit for seven. And if he doesn't have edict, now we know disfigure and agony warp don't kill nettle. So unless he has exactly changer's edict, then we're in a really good spot. And it looks like he doesn't. I'm gonna go land, attack. Does he have Doom Void? Doesn't look like it. Burning Tree into Ledge Walker into Pit Skulk. Just gonna play it all out there. Not scared of Wrath. Looking decent now. Tide turns pretty quick. Go. Counter this. Agony Warp. So he did have Agony Warp, so the line we took was, was pretty nice. And now, even if he draws Shainer's Edict now, it's probably too late for him. We also have a Ledge Walker. Shainer's Edict. Uh oh, Alchemy now. Concede. Five, six, seven, eight. He's not dead on board. Backwater or aqueduct, bounce island. Then he chose not to take bog, remove soul. And oh, I think we just have him. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Attack with all. Hunger. For nine. Nice, we got a match, and I'll see you in round four. Hey everyone, we're one and two with Stompy. We're against Atams in round four. Whoa, 80 card deck. Are we against Blue White Control again? Or just a bad deck? <laughs> um, wait, let's see, we're, we'll keep this hand. It's not crazy, but we have turn one, one drop, turn two, double Rancor, so we'll keep that. Tam's multi five with an 80 card deck. Okay. If he doesn't go blue black land or blue or, or like either of the two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just against uh, win con list control. Um, okay. Just gonna lead Nettle. Pass. I'm gonna plan on just double rancoring this. Okay, never mind. He has three cards in hand. There's a Vines. Hmm. This is interesting. I mean, I can just play out both my threats. I can also just play like Korean Pass. I'm just gonna play out both my creatures. I know this can get plus one plus one if I hit, but I'd rather just play play it out. Um, I don't think I need the Quarian ability, so I'd rather have the unblock ability of Skargan. Yeah, two cards in hand. Ooh, Elephant Guide. I like that actually, because now if he has an Edict, we still uh, retain a creature. So I like our line. <coughs> Pristine Talisman is totally fine. Can definitely just rank our guy up. He only has Carlos up and we have Vines up. So we're looking good. Even if he somehow kills our guy, we still get a 3-3 back and these Rancors back now. So, And we have Vines up. So he's going to need a couple more edicts. These savage swipes are coming out. I don't think he, most likely, most of the time they don't have creatures. So I could go for the win, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to pass. Keep this land in hand. 
mystical teachings for an edict effect maybe could be for like a gets verdict but again we still have this vines This 80 card control deck is actually, oh, Devour Flesh, yeah. This, yeah, th what I was saying is this 80 card control deck is actually not bad because Blue and Black and Popper have a lot of playable cards. So to play more cards doesn't really like hurt your card density. It just like allows you to have a bigger Mystical Teachings package and you won't deck. So you can just control the game. You don't need to play any win cons. So I think it's actually not bad, but um, I still think it's better just to play a 60 card control deck and just you can still just take control and win the game that way. Um, so if I play Burning Tree pre-combat, he has to cast Devour Flesh. Now, does that affect anything? I don't think so. I'm just going to attack. And he's going to devour flesh. Target player. And this only gives my creature X proof. Okay. But I do get a 3-3. Three, three. And I get these Rancors back. Then I'm going to go land, burning tree, rancor, rancor, pass, leave up vines. I think I just rancor both of my guys. Disfigure. Uh, sure. Pass. Not sure if that was right. He kept two cards on top. Could have played around Disfigure by oh, Whispers into Radiant Fountain. Into what? He needs another removal spell. He has another Devour Flesh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'll keep the 3-3. Three, three. And then go Nettle. Rancor it up. Yep. So we can sack the Witching Well to draw two cards. Looks like what he's doing. But can he get out of this? No. Now we get to bring in some young wolves. Nice. We just bring in the young wolves, the relic. Do we bring in like one or two gleeful sabotage just to deal with pristine talisman? I don't think so. I guess it also kills witching well. No, I'd rather just have more threat density. Well, I guess we're setting out all these Savage Swipes, so I'll bring in one Gleeful Sabotage. <laughs> Alright, let's go with that. I think I'm just going to keep in all the Elephant Guides and stuff. Okay, game two against Blue-Black Wincon-less Control. This hand is actually close. Because we, if we draw land, it's insane. We get to go T1, Vault Scourge, T2, Burning Tree, Burning Tree, Ledge Walker, and then have a Hunger Up. But if we don't draw land, it just doesn't really function. So we have to have a land in the top two cards. We have 15 lands left in our deck out of 53. So a little less than a 1 in 3 chance twice. So let's say it's like 30% and then another 30% each draw. Hmm. 
Doesn't look great. I think I'm gonna mulligan because even if I hit land, yeah, this hand is good. But if I don't hit land, I lose. So I'm gonna mulligan. Ah, brutal. This hand's not great either. But I think it, this. I think this time I have to keep keep these. Maybe I just put a vines down and. Or no, I just put a gleeful sabotage down. Duh. We still need to draw land, but even if we don't now, at least we're doing something. Okay. Can I draw land next turn, please? Get this nest invader down. Nice, that's huge. Get to attack and play nest invader, because if that resolves, then that's like insane against his edict effects. Oh, he has a counter spell. All right. At least our ledge walker didn't get countered though. Talisman. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go attack for two. Play Ledge Walker and put a Rancor on it. Then next turn put another Rancor on it and he has to have double Edict. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have I shouldn't have put Rancor on it there. I should have just left up Vines to protect Nettle Sentinel from like a disfigure effect. Four mana. Evan Carr's justice. Hmm. Yep. Well, vines wouldn't have helped there anyway. He's got the mystical. Is he just gonna get like a something to edict with? Think twice. <laughs> These decks are so funny. Mystical for think twice. I mean, we are most likely gonna lose this game. But it's still funny. Oops, I don't need to tap land. Just gotta make him use his resources here. All right. Still has a think twice. And a mystical in the yard. Looks like we'll be going to game three. He has five cards in hand. He has a mystical in the yard. Double pristine talisman. Yeah, I'm about ready to concede this. Yeah. He can't flashback mystical this turn, but he can next turn. Yeah, we're definitely not winning. Even if we drew like threat, 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 I don't think that's enough. Um, I don't think I want more gleeful sabotages, honestly. I think I'm fine with just the one. Don't want to. Don't want too many of that effect. Nope. This one looks good. Just put back a land. Hopefully we draw one more land. But Young Wolf is just huge against him. Just like basically blanks all his edict effects. Radiant Fountain. Interesting. So he probably has a bounce land. Rancor. Attack for three, Scargan. The lifelink from Vaultscourge really doesn't do anything. Um, I'm just gonna attack. I don't wanna get blown out on this elephant guide. So 
So if I sack Skargan, then I just get to put Elephant Guide on the Young Wolf. I'm going to do that. And I'm doing it this way because, again, same thing with the Rancor. It's like if he plays a removal spell in response, it's really bad for me. But even though I don't get the extra damage this way, it's like, yeah, okay, so this Innocent Blood resolves. But then, let's see, how do we want this to stack? I don't think it matters. But then now we get this 3-3 trigger. We like just get so much more value this way even though we get a little less damage. But if we just elephant guide our guy and he kills it in response, we just get wrecked. All right, we can just play everything out here. Let's just rank her up our big guy, hit for five. Now, do I want to play around Evan Carr's Justice? I feel like I kind of do. I have seven power. I guess I just play out nine power and pass. I guess he has a, I, th I still think this is fine. Innocent blood. All right, I'll sack, I'll sack nettle. There's hunger. All right, let's attack with both and play a Vault Scourge. Exclude Vault Scourge, okay. Not gonna hunger anything yet. If he goes for a like, Disfigure Young Wolf, I can just hunger in response. He may just have like one edict effect, and that's not gonna do it. If he's in the tank, that's a good sign for us. He's like, how do I get out of this? If he's like taking a line immediately, it's bad for us. Land is not good, but let's see if he has anything. Teachings for disfigure on Young Wolf. That doesn't do it. Teachings concede. Yep. Okay. Well, we're back up to two and two. Let's see if we can three two this league. Hey, Laron, welcome back. Round five. We're two and two now. The comeback league here. We're playing Stompy, and we're gonna keep this hand. We're against the Lost Boy. Let's see, let's see what we're up against. Oh, looks like we're up against Elves or the Mirror. Hopefully it's actually the Mirror because uh, Elves is our worst matchup. Elves is certainly the worst matchup for this deck. They just like go way wider. They do like way more. The Mirror, this hand could potentially beat. Uh, it looks like the mirror, but looks like our opponent has a good hand. Plus Rancor here, hit for six. Oh, plus Quirion. All right, that was just wrong. He should have attacked and then played Quirion, but it probably doesn't matter. All we can do is burning tree into bad Skargan here, which I'm going to do. All right. Hopefully this hand is just full of some awkward spells here. Nest Invader. Okay, that's not too bad. Maybe just another random dork, and then we can just elephant guide up Skargan and then hunger it. All right, I'm gonna bite, I'm gonna block. All 
Yes, hunger. Yep. Not too much we can do there. Um. I think I just need to go elephant guide pass. Try to make a huge guy here. Get hit for five, just take it. No, no, he's attacking with Nest Invader. It's just gonna vines it. I have to do this though, yeah. I mean, I can't just take infinite. I, I gotta do something. I can't even hunger here. Yeah, Vault Scourge, brutal. All right, well, we are gonna lose. Okay, that's a start. Um, let's go land. I don't think there's any reason to attack, actually. Let's just go land, Riverboa Pass. Still looking rough. Just attacking with Vault Scourge only, it's fine. Nest Invader, okay. Untap Vault Scourge, replay Forest, zero cards. Okay. Quarian, not a great draw. Do I attack with elephant? Man, I just don't think attacking is good. Just gotta wait at least like one more turn. Maybe draw a rancor or something. Our opponent's draw was just way better than us for the mirror. Another Vault Scourge. Yeah, we're not getting out of this, I don't think. Okay, there's Rancor. Um, I think I'm going Riverbow, actually. I'm at nine. But yeah, I do this. And I go attack. He's blocking. Interesting. I don't know why he wouldn't know that we have vines. Regenerate. And then untap. Land. Hunger. Gotta do it now while we have Morbid. We have a 7-4 Trample Regenerate against 2-1-1 Lifelink Flying. Our opponent might have just thrown the... Oh, he has Hunger. He just top decked Hunger. That's brutal for us. We can still draw a Savage Swipe to just fight and kill, but we're taking five down to four. Uh, top deck hunger there. Brutal. Rancor, it's not going to do it. Because we're just dead on board. Yeah, just concede. We can we can untap both our guys, but he has five power in the air. Man, drawing that hunger was was brutal. Right, let's bring in the gut shots. 
Let's take out. What did we do last time? Vines, vines. Quarian Ranger. Nest Invader. Let's do that. All right, we got this. I'm confident. Let's play first. We have some gut shots, but it's about all we have. And we can't even really cast anything. It's a mulligan. All right, this is a keep. I do want this elephant guide. I guess we're just putting back gut shot as much as I want that too. Just because I want elephant guide really bad and I don't think I'm putting back like burning trees. So it's like, yeah, we could gut shot that, but I definitely want to have all this gas. And then next turn we can just elephant guide something and get in. All right, how many does our opponent have? Just two into a nest invader as well? Or into a rancor? Okay. All right, let's just elephant guide it up and get in. Gonna get in there. Go on the aggressive. You can double block this. Who's just taking? Interesting, down to 11. Okay. That's an interesting line. Does he have his own elephant guide? Even if he does. Not sure I fully understand. I think I'm just taking. I don't want to get hungered here. Four, five, six, seven. Sure. He's at 11 right now. We have a lot of power. I guess he can untap. Okay. Ooh, there's gut shot. Just gonna attack. Could get blown out by a vines, but I don't think there's much I can do. Even if he has vines now, I can still win. Untapping that one as well. Not vinesing. Um, sure. Block, block. Double block. Oh, he's jumping. Interesting. Okay. I don't think I agree with that line. I don't know what he has in hand. We know he has a forest. We know he has two forests, right? Yeah, two forests and three unknowns. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I agree with this line there at all. I mean, I might not want to kill this 5-5 five because five then I get a 3-3. Three three. Yeah. I now he doesn't even want to attack into this nest invader. Plays a 1-1 Skargan, passes. Hunger, brutal for him. Um, do I want to kill a blocker? He's at seven. I think yes is the answer to that. Because then I think I just can kill him. I think I kill Quarian. I 
if he finds the okay he doesn't now we just get in he only has two blockers so I'm not sure how he's gonna survive okay let's go game three don't think our opponent played that one well. I think he might have had a chance if he played it better. Um, I think I'd just leave it like this. All right, final game of this league. And we're gonna keep this hand. We have a gut shot to deal with like a Vault Scourge or something. And we can even just kill that Quarian Ranger now. I think I'm just gonna play Nettle and pass. It is kind of annoying if it allows him to two drop, but he slammed that core in. Let's just go nettle a pass. Because if he just goes second land, gut shot in the query in right now is not that good. Okay, yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm happy with this. Burning tree, you got it. Nettle, pass. Sure. So I could go attack with Nettle. I don't even really think I want to. Maybe I do, because then I can go Skargan plus Quarian. Do want to get Quarian down. I think I'm just going to go... I'm going to I'm gonna attack here. If he wants to risk trading, that's fine. He doesn't. All right, now I can go Skargan plus Quarian. Wonder if I gut shot this now. Um, I guess it could be bad if he plays a Vault Scourge, but I think it's worth. I'm not sure about that sequencing, but I think it's fine. The reason I did it like that is because I don't want him to be able to play like a three drop there. All right, I'm gonna take. And uh, I was just hoping he didn't have Vault Scourge. But this way at least I still get to play Elephant Guide. So I'm definitely still in this game. Elephant guide this up and get in. Check it with both. Um, yes. Just snap trading. If he's able to pump this. Oh, I can't, I can't have six. Okay, I guess he has, I guess he has a pump spell. So I have to think about this carefully. So he's hitting for five. He's hitting me down to 11, he goes to 12. But I guess if he pumps Vault Scourge, that's bad for me too. The thing is if I use Corian, then I can't double two drop next turn. I guess that's irrelevant. I feel like he has vines. And if he does, if he just gains five, that's gonna be rough too. Hits for five, six, seven, eight, nine, down to seven. All right, let's do it. This way I can still play River Bowl with Regenerate up.
Yeah, he has vines, but I think I kind of need to take this line. He doesn't get to deploy another creature. I get an elephant. And now I get to go hit for four, play a river boa. Not even going to use Quarian. I don't think there's any reason to. You can attack for one with Vault Scourge here, yeah. Play a Scargan. It's good. Oh man. That's annoying. Um, okay. Just gonna get in. Just float it out here. That's why I play 16 land, not 17 like a lot of people play. I guess I shouldn't have attacked with Elephant. I guess that's wrong. Let's see if we can steal this game. Man, even the gut shot on the Quarian Ranger is killing me. <clears throat> Damn. Okay. Take one burning tree into nothing. Elephant guide. Okay. That gives me actually, I think, a good chance to win. So I go elephant guide this. Then I can hit with both. untap one of them this turn and then untap one of them on his turn. Regenerate. He's not going to be dead, but he does have to leave a blocker back. I get to untap and then I get to untap on his turn too. Okay. What does he have? This is super close. A lot of games with this deck are super close. It's kind of not great that we played the mirror twice, but it is what it is. I just vines kicked now on Vault Scourge. Interesting. Hit for five. Does he have another vines in hand? Nothing I can do. No reason to untap River Boa. I'm at six. He's at nine. Gut shot. Okay, there's a gut shot. Six. Let's play land. Hit with both. Might even block this river boa. He doesn't. So that's only six. Okay. Now I just untap and pass. This is like a Rancor on Vault Scourge. Oh, Rancor on Scargan. Okay. Not sure if that even does it right now. Opponent's at three. Let's see what he attacks with. Just that. Wow. What card does he have in hand? You can't cast binds. I 
He's not attacking with Vault Scourge. He's at three. He can't block Ledgewalker. Maybe he has an Elfin Guide in hand? If he has a Vines, he would just have cast it before for lethal, so he can't have Vines. I guess he could have Land, or Elephant Guide, or Random Creature. Um, let's see. I think that's all he could have. I think if I just take, I'm safe, right? He can't Vines. Oh, he can block this ledge walker with Vault Skirts. That's what he's planning to do. But I can just gut shot this. Oh, interesting. He's planning on blocking, but if I go to two, I can't gut shot. Let's see, the opponent's at three, so he's just planning on blocking. That's why he didn't attack. So if I block, I have three attackers, but he's only at three. Block. And then I go attack with all. I guess I can even, I can block and then kill Vault Surge and then attack with all. And then that puts him in a really bad spot. So I'm actually going to block. Because if I don't block and go to two, I can't gut shot at all. So. Oh man, we're lagging. Super lag here. I'm going to block. I'm going to trade, trigger my elephant guide. He gets his Rancor back. Sure. He's probably going to play on Vault's Courage here. In which case, I just get to respond with Gut Shot. And then he has to block Elephant. And then he has to block one of these. Oh, land, no. But he can go block, block, take two down to one. And then I get to untap one thing. God damn. Drawing land there was just so bad for me. If I attack with both of these, is that better? Because then he doesn't get to eat my quarry in. But he doesn't have to block the river boa. So is there any reason to attack with Quirion? No. Gut shot that. Down to one. Alright, regenerate. I'm just lagging hard here. Like I'm trying to regenerate. Okay, there we go. Regenerate River Boa. Okay. So we can double block Elephant. I kill Skargan. Oh, he's just chumping? Untap this. He has zero cards in hand. He's at one. I guess a pump. Oh, we got it. If he had a, like, drawn a Rancor there, we would have lost. So super, super close. That was incredible. So we got the 3-2. The two matches we lost in the first two rounds were really, really close. I think this deck is very good. I think it's the best deck. Um, 
we played the mirror a couple times. Um, let's view the deck here. Again, it's not my favorite style of deck to play. I think it is very good, but I just prefer playing something like I did in the last video, where it's like classic Tron, where you're just going off, you're drawing a bunch of cards, you're doing big stuff, or like you're just doing something a little bit crazier. This is just a solid deck. It's a good Rancor deck. It'll get wins, but for me, it's just not the style of deck that I enjoy. Um, I wouldn't like love to build this in real life just to grind like F and M's. Like, yeah, maybe I'd take this to uh, a bigger popper tournament if I was trying to win. But um, again, not my favorite. I'd rather play either Control or Tron or that sort of thing. But anyway, thanks for watching Snapbolt. If you like the content, please subscribe. And until uh, next time.